Now at this point, this might be a good time to save your project because you've got a little time invested here and you don't want to lose it if something goes wrong. So under the file menu, go down to save project as and uh, you might want to just call this one um, flower demo uh, and Visit Sketch Pro will stick a um, uh, extension to that of .ipf to let, you, let the system know that that is going to be a, um, a project within Visit Sketch Pro which you can recall at any time. So now you've got your project saved and we can move on to say well let's just suppose this, pr this primitive drawing that we've got would be good enough for, for the purposes. It probably wouldn't be but I just want to show you how you proceed in to uh, move on to um, make this a, an animation. First thing you'd want to do is you want to go up here. You want to pick a pencil, probably, since we're pencil outlining this thing. I don't know. You can pick any color of it you want, but let's just, for argumentative sake, pick a brown pencil um, to see what the brown pencil would do. If we turn the filters back on and we draw the background and we draw it, you can see that this is where the pencil wound up. So at this point, you could now then go down and I'll move down to the part of the screen of interest now uh, where we would build the animation and you'd build the animation first off by building the bitmaps that are going to make up the animation and there are three options here shown and it gives you the option of showing the bitmaps being built which is a good idea because you can see if the thing is, is actually doing what you want um, it also will move the pen smoothly between groups that's a big deal because remember in the beginning when I set those two little dots as being the first group, I want the pen to move very smoothly between there and the next group. And it will do that on every group. So when you finish one group, it doesn't matter where you finish, the pencil will move nice and smoothly to the next group rather than just suddenly jump there. Also, uh, you have to decide whether you want the background in the sketch or not. Um, in the case of this, let's not use the background in the sketch and you can see that we will get a nice white background with this flower pattern being drawn on it. So if we tell the system now to go ahead and build the bitmaps, it'll begin building each one of these bitmaps. The pen will appear and it'll start to draw your outline. We'll stop here and wait for the uh, final bitmap to be drawn. Okay, now Business Sketch Pro has gone along and has drawn the, uh, the complete outline that we've uh, laid down the dots for the flower with the associated pencil that we chose. Now what we want to do is we want to move again back down to the uh, Build Sketch Animation box and this time uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the system to build the AVI. It's drawn all the bitmaps, now it needs to take all the bitmaps and build them into a, a, a resultant AVI animation. Uh, it's a simple little process of just uh, clicking the uh, Save As button, or the, the Build AVI button, and giving it a name. In this case, we'll give it a name of, uh, let's say, Flowers AVI and the, the appended AVI will be on that by the system and if we tell it to save it'll now go along and uh, further down here in this box you can see right here that it's telling you that it is currently writing the AVI file to disk there were 563 bitmaps to make this outline so it'll take it a little while but not too long and um, the resultant AVI uh, right now the estimated runtime is about 15 seconds or so That'll be added to a little bit depending on how many groups you use because it does have to move the pencil between groups and it moves it smoothly and that adds a little bit of extra time to the AVI runtime. Anyway, as we uh, march along here sooner or later we see that the AVI build is now complete and that then will really conclude the, um, the basics of how you go about building a uh, sketch in, a, in uh, Visit Sketch Pro.